there are common patterns to national crises just as there are common patterns to personal crises. Some nations have solved their crises well, some nations have not solved their crises well. By looking at the histories of successes and failures at solving crises, um, we may be able to learn how to manage our current crises better. For example, um, a lesson in resolving national crises is for nations to look to other countries for models of how they've solved similar problems. But today, my country, the United States, refuses to look to Western European countries and Canada for models of how to solve problems such as education, climate change, immigration that the United States has at present. Um, that's a sign of how not to resolve a crisis. Uh, an example of how to resolve a crisis is Japan in the 1800s did look to France and Germany and Britain and the United States for models of how to rebuild their government. The main threats to humanity are four, and you know them all. One is the threat of a nuclear war, like between India and Pakistan or between the United States and North Korea, one. Number two threat, climate change. You know about that, you had a hot summer in Europe last year. Number three, the threat of depletion of essential resources, such as fish and forests. In Spain, where you eat plenty of seafood, you know or you should know that the world fish stocks have been declining. And finally, the consequences of inequality around the world. In countries that are poor, people get angry and frustrated and they then support terrorists who do bad things like blow up bombs in Madrid railroad stations. The simplest way is vote. Vote for a good government, don't vote for a bad government. The next thing you can do is convince 10 of your friends to vote for a good government and not vote for a bad government. The next thing you can do is support organizations that are working on the world's problems, such as World Wildlife Fund, World Wide Fund for Nature. Educate your children. Encourage your children to protest. Those are some things that we can all do. Am I sure that we will have a happy future? No, of course not. I'm not sure that we will have a happy future. Am I sure that we will have a terrible future? No, of course not. I'm not sure that we'll have a terrible future. We have a chance to have a happy future if we do the right things. Um, th that's why I write books, to encourage them to do the right things.